In the Anglican Church, there have been rumblings for years. Now a clash between conservative and progressive church leaders has come to a head. It's a sad day that the Diocese of the Southern Cross has to come into existence. Anglican bishops concerned about the direction of the church have created a breakaway group, the Diocese of the Southern Cross. Some of the leaders in the Anglican Church have moved to uh, establish a blessing service for same-sex marriage. Uh, and those of us who hold to scriptural teaching uh, believe that that's not what the Bible teaches about uh, marriage. That's disputed by progressive Anglicans, including theology academic Matthew Anstey. We believe we're being entirely faithful to scripture and to, and to God, and that our faith in it is genuine and authentic. Within Australia, Anglicans are in conflict over this question as to what we should do in relation to uh, sexual relationships um, and relationships generally outside of the covenant of marriage. The new group was announced at a conference of conservative Anglican churches on the weekend. It will be led by former Sydney Archbishop Glenn Davies. The revisionist teaching of leaders around well, in certain parts of the country have forced this situation. The split isn't unique to Australia's Anglican Church. There have been similar moves in the United States, Canada and New Zealand. It's unclear just how many Australian Anglicans might defect to the new church. So far there's one minister and congregation in Queensland. One of the questions is, will we though one day become like the, Ameri like the USA, where there's two separate Anglican churches? And nobody knows the answer to that. Ellen Coulter, ABC News.